Hello everyone, welcome to day 27 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Today's episode will be very short, but hopefully powerful. We are talking about consistency over intensity. First of all, why is this important? The whole point of this 30 days, 30 tips challenge is to give you some practical tips and tricks to achieve sustainable productivity not a sort of productivity where you go like boom all in 100 kilometers per hour and then crash you know i'm a burnout coach and the last thing i want is for you to get burnt out so coming back to the topic why is consistency better than intensity when we approach our work with intensity, we ride the wave of adrenaline. We ride the wave of urgency. We ride the wave of go, 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 go mindset. And we rush to do everything, to get to the finish line, to reach that deadline. And we are ready to give it all in the meantime. What happens when you do that? You wear yourself out. You need extended periods of recovery in order to be able to come back to yourself. I have a client, for instance, who tells me that after they reach a deadline, they need to take one week off just to recover and recuperate and be able to go back to work again. Just one week off lying on the couch. You don't want that. What you want is consistency. That is good energy management. And what is the one trick that you need to remember to achieve consistency over intensity? Don't do anything that you won't be able to recover from by the next day. A coach of mine said this once to me, and that was a moment of mind-blowing realization for me because my whole approach was otherwise. Intensity, go, 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 harder, faster, go, 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 go. But in the long term, that wasn't sustainable. In the long term, that intensity was making me burned out, making me wear out, making me need more and more and longer and longer recovery periods. And in the long term, that is the opposite of a productive lifestyle, a productive work style. I hope this helps. If this episode was helpful, please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the podcast, and please share these tips with your friends, colleagues, acquaintances who need to hear this type of advice. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions. Bye-bye.